just sit back and just decided that I'm going to be the best, the best dressed rapper in the game. All right, if I'm going to tell this story effectively, first we're going to have to go back to the beginning. <laughs> Hip hop, a genre known for creating one of the greatest and most influential artists of this decade. A genre that at first appearance didn't seem like it would have such an effect on music and pop culture. The late 1980s was a start to this genre and was around the time when it was slowly earning its respect in music. If I'm gonna mention this, of course we can't continue without paying respects to the rap group known for bringing rap to a new level, NWA. With their music clearly cultivating an audience on the streets of LA with crazy lyrics that nobody expected to even be allowed in the music industry, it wasn't long before it spread past the streets and you had the gated communities bumping this shit. Now, why I mention this group in particular? Well, see, at the time, the underlying image for a music group was a clear-cut, presentable figure. Boom! NWA comes along to the mainstream and changes that presentable image by wearing everyday clothes in their street culture, and now you got all the white dudes dressing like they about to pull to a gang meetup. Point is, not only was NWA such a significant piece of the start of hip-hop, at the time, they didn't know it, but it would be the start of influence hip-hop has put onto another art form. And that art form is known as fashion. Now this obviously makes sense, especially because every music genre has influenced fashion in some sort. And it only makes sense for hip-hop to have its turn. Now fast forward today, and you got motherfuckers out here confidently looking like this, trying to dress like their favorite rapper. Man, I don't even know how y'all walking out the house thinking this fit is tough. Don't y'all got friends or something? Because any good friend will absolutely flame your ass for choosing to look like the leftover shit in my ass when I go white. And that shit is nasty. Honestly, it's safe to say that in today's day and age, fashion ain't evolving. And I think it's going to stay that way. Like, honestly, if I'm trying to make some friends, the first thing I notice is if the dude dresses like a bum. Honestly, with the popularity of hip-hop and rap culture combined with people trying to dress different, it's no surprise we got goofballs pulling up to school with these motherfuckers. These big-ass red boots. I don't think there's a single soul that can pull off wearing these. And rappers trying to wear these ain't making it any better. Honestly, I can see why rappers choose to dress differently than the normal person. Because honestly, when you just get so rich and you basically won in life, I can see why you just stop giving a fuck. But the downside of this is you got bum ass bitches making minimum wage at their job, trying to copy that goofy ass style and wasting their entire paycheck on these ugly ass boots. Get them bitches out of here, bro. This whole video about to be me just flaming these goddamn boots. A great example of this has got to be my boy, the holy guy. Nah, I want to say holy. Uh, The girlfriend beater and the king of capping, Playboy Cardi. Wow. Now I got something to say about this dude. First off, no diss to his music. That shit is heavenly. Nah, that shit not heavenly. Um, His music is good. Now one of the problems with Cardi isn't actually himself. Actually, the problem is him, but, but that's besides the point. Nah, but it's this dude's fans that gotta be just as annoying as Cardi himself. These dudes will absolutely meat ride the fuck out of him. Cardi fans will see some dumbass fit that Cardi wears and try to replicate that shit. Like you got motherfuckers walking around dressing like an emo in 2023. And hey, it's not my say on what you wear or whatever, but what the fuck is this? Like, nah, bro, y'all aren't making any fashion statements. I swear, nobody was wearing Ricks or Doc Martens before Cardi came along. But hey, I'ma just tell y'all right now, for all the dudes who are trying to be Cardi, you're not Cardi. I feel like Cardi the only dude who can pull these fits off because nobody questions him. Because he low-key weird as hell. Honestly, a lot of rappers have this trying to be different mindset in their fashion. Another example, which we cannot forget, is of course, Kanye West. The certified Hitler lover, bullshitter, and the dude who got caught doing a little bit of some freaky things on a boat. Jesus, I don't even have to explain to you this dude's fits. He'll either dress like some Robocop villain or he'll just straight up put on some leggings and go outside without shoes or socks. Some rappers, including Kanye, might also have had such an influence on fashion that they'll create their own clothing line or have collaborations with companies like Adidas with Kanye, which I do own myself. I own a lot of Kanye merchandise, I can't lie, which is expected from someone with a whole video on why they meet right Kanye. <clears throat> you know, some clothing lines from rappers can be incredibly well done and others can just be dog shit. And there are definitely certain releases that are clearly just for cash grab purposes. For instance, a while ago, I was excited to hear that there was an MF Doom and Supreme collaboration. Now, usually MF Doom's merch is pretty decent and overall quality stuff. Usually it's overpriced as shit, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make a little bag if you know what I mean. And this sadly was definitely the main intention for this Supreme collab. How about I just show you a piece of this merchandise Supreme was trying to sell?
Yeah, they dead ass put a JPEG on a hoodie, sold that shit for a bag, and called it a day. And you know, I like Supreme stuff. I actually own some of their stuff myself. But the thing is, it's usually a hit or miss on the drops they're gonna release. And I could definitely tell the quality and purpose has definitely went downhill over the years. Now, how can I mention clothing in Supreme without mentioning golf wearing? Yeah, Tyler, the creator's clothing line, which you guessed it, I own myself. Honestly, I think I own more golf wing out of all the hip hop streetwear I have. And you know, I blame it on my me riding, but I actually do like their pieces, despite it clearly taking inspiration from another brand I mentioned. I actually went to the golf wing store in New York over the summer, and damn, was it nice. I picked up a few pieces from the store on my trip too. You know, the location was a little interesting, but it's Manhattan, what do you expect, bro? But by far my favorite pickup from this year has gotta be from Travis Scott. Yeah, you already know when Utopia dropped, I bought the bundle. It was a little expensive, but hey, I got a funny looking vinyl and a fire shirt. Do I know this shit was mass produced and probably costed a few dollars to make? Yes. Do I care? I don't care. I don't. No. You already know I'm living that materialistic life. Anyways, I think I'm done ranting about these rappers merch lines. Clearly, I could say a lot about Travis and his shoes and how far they are, but all y'all probably know about it. Now, how about instead we move on to the most important part of the video, the goofy rapper fits tier list. With how goofy this discourser is, I don't even know why I asked y'all to submit these photos. But yeah, as expected, I definitely knew there was going to be a bunch of Drake, Cardi, OBM, and of course Kanye. And you know, the submission process was a little chaotic. We had a lot of spam and garbage, and this motherfucker spamming the same fit for three days almost. I don't even know who Young Lord is, but I guess he's going to make the tier list. Um, the tier list is pretty self-explanatory. We got S, A, B, C, D, E, and the worst of them all, F. <laughs> S being the goofiest and F being the least goofiest. So let's just go. Boom, first submission submitted by Carrot X is this interesting looking fella. He's just kind of standing there. I don't know much about the background of this photo. I don't think this dude is even a rapper, Ooh, man, I'm not a rapper. but I had to include it. Yeah, this is pretty goofy, I ain't gonna lie. I've definitely seen hella worse in this submission feed, but I think we're gonna give it a solid C tier. All right, next on this list is this iconic Drake photo submitted by Dawson. And I knew this shit was going to be submitted eventually. And sure enough, it was one of the first few sent. Honestly, when you think of Drake's goofiest moments, there's no way this isn't one of them. My boy's at an award show dressing like he about to go play bingo at the senior citizens home. But nah, not only is the fit goofy, but he got to top it all off with that horrendous look at the camera. This is pretty solid, I ain't gonna lie. I think we're going to put in beats here. All right, next up is, of course, this Kanye photo submitted by... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But uh, yeah, this is, I think, one of Kanye's most recent fits out in public. And yeah, there's no doubt a few of these Kanye fits in 2023 wouldn't make the tier list. But goddamn, this fit is booty cheeks. I don't know what the hell Kanye was thinking by stepping foot outside his house in this shit. My boy looks like he's part of a government experiment, dog. Yeah, this shit definitely going high up, straight to A tier. All right, the next one, which is absolutely no way I wouldn't include this, is this rare ass sighting of our boy Earl Sweatshirt here looking like a rare Bigfoot sighting. Honestly, I wouldn't even call this an outfit at this point. Bro is practically bare skin, but on God, if anyone knows the background of this photo and who took it, I would gladly like to know that in the comments. There's absolutely no doubt about this. This shit going straight to S tier. Honestly, for this next one, I thought people would submit way worse fits in him. This one was submitted by Seg over here. Uh, Damn, y'all got some weird ass usernames. But yeah, this fit by Jordan Carter over here, which his ass decided to wear on stage, is probably going to C2. Honestly, mostly because with Cardi, I thought y'all would submit some worse fits. Not saying this one is bad, but like, come on. It's Cardi, bro. Y'all can do better. Now, my Discord don't know about my hatred for these dumbass boots, so I was happy to see that everyone could collectively agree that these boots are ugly as shit. This was another submission by our boy Carrot X over here, but I... I thought the original red boots were bad, but these croc boots are infinitely worse. They just ain't it, dog. Honestly, Peggy's fit ain't that bad, but those boots counter that shit out. If you post a pic with these boots, there's no doubt your ass ain't going below a B tier. Probably my favorite on this list, submitted by XCM Show here, is this iconic photo of Travis Scott's Halloween costume. Shit, there ain't nothing much to say about this pic because it checks off every goofy thing I'm looking for. And to top it all off, just like the Drake photo, Travis looking retarded as shit. That gets extra points already, bruh. This photo is iconic, fire, and goofy. There's no way this don't get an S to you. Okay, we got another submission by Seg over here, and it's an absolute great pick. We got the devil worshiper himself, Lil Uzi Vert, coming in with an absolute dog shit fit. This is a goofy rapper fits tier list for a reason. 
And this photo is the epiphany of that. This shit reminds me of the dudes who wore all neon and elementary, except worse. Uzi trying to be a little quirky with that bag too. Definitely not the worst on this list, but god damn, this is such an easy 18. Now this next one is a bit controversial, I feel, because in my opinion, Tyler, the creator's fashion style is probably one of the best in the game right now. We got this photo over here submitted by Dr. TC of Tyler, the creator, standing a bit awkwardly. Nah, to be honest, I feel like that's the only goofy part of this photo. I don't think the outfit itself is that bad, but shit, it's not something you catch me out wearing in public. Definitely something only Tyler could pull off, and he always does it well. Uh, this is for sure going in an F tier. Hey, don't put Tyler on this list because the meat rider gonna take over, bruh. Alright, last but certainly not least, the outfit I specifically say for last, this photo submitted by Dr. TC of the chillest stoner rapper on earth, Snoop Dogg. There's not much I can really say. Send that shit straight to S tier, bruh. Alright, that's the tier list. You know, some of you might disagree, but like I always say, none of y'all's opinion matter to me. Uh, you already know to join up the Discord, and you can maybe be in a video, I mean, link in the description. Also, like the video, subscribe, please. I'm trying to buy this life-size Kanye cutout, so subscribing and liking always helps. Free Melly, uh, aight, we out.